Hey, it's Ralph Timmerman Tools. Today's video is actually a subscriber or viewer's idea um, <clears throat> about chain and what's the fastest chain, not square ground, or just out of the box versus hand filed. Um, and and I, I, I don't know, I didn't actually run the numbers yet. <clears throat> I did cut previously, I made my cuts. I uh, have my suspicions, but I will time everything and uh, we'll, we'll go from there. But I just want to show you guys a, a couple of things I'm talking about yeah. real quick. It's out of the box, Oregon. It's full skip, full chisel. Oh, look at me. <laughs> Looking at the screen on the camera. There we go. I grabbed the wrong part. And this is the same exact chain, and this is after I did the rakers. And I filed this. Now, this has been run through wood, so it's not perfect still. Let me see if I can get a better shot of that. Okay. Now, still very similar profile. I tried to keep them close to the same size so people wouldn't argue that, you know, oh, it's a, it's got less, less metal to spin. Here, let me see what I can do. Here we go. This is, this is good. Okay, so this closest to you is out of the box. This, don't mind my nail. This right here, I used a Husqvarna raker gauge and I filed it. Didn't need a lot, but I just cleaned it up and I timed these cuts to see who's faster. You can see them a little bit lower in the corner here than the uh, factory grind, but not much. Same thing again. That's actually a little bit. Oh. Yeah, that's a that's a good bit shorter that tooth. You can see. Wow. Yeah, that definitely uh, got taken back a bit. That's actually shocking. Let's see what else. Huh. Yeah. Anyway, that's enough of that. Before everyone goes off on the tangent of you need equal pressure, you need... It's not a perfect science, guys. I just... I know what feels like if it cuts faster. I mean, everyone does their own thing. You know, this is a whole, like, uh, debatable subject. But I wanted just to show, here's out-of-the-box chain. Here's chain after... I'm not any kind of special guy with a file. I just file. I bring the working corner out. And I do the rakers with the gauge. There's nothing special about me or my ability. <clears throat> so it's your everyday man's file to see if hand filed at a, at, at a job well done. A good hand file is better than out of the box. So I'll run the clips for you guys. I'll get them timed and we can go from there. I've said this in other videos, but the point of checking with the raker gauge, not all the rakers are actually even. They're not all even right out of the box. Box stock chain, check them. Check them yourself. I've been doing that now and I've been noticing. And it's not a lot, just minor minor discrepancies between the rakers. So next clip is just me showing you guys that, you know, there's a little bit of a difference there. You could clearly see. It's hard to see in the video, but clearly in real life you could see, yeah, these rakers are not even right out of the box. All right, here's the next one down. Pretty, pretty actually, pretty similar. Let's go to this next one here. Yep. So this is the third one. This is barely, barely sticking out. It's, it's so hard to see. It's it's so hard to see on this. Oh, I'll move my magnifying down here. You can see it barely sticking out. Now, stick with me here. All right, so this is the first tooth that we looked at. Okay, you can see that's sticking out a good bit more. Try to keep everything flat and level. It's 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 so hard to see. You can you can tell. When you're in person. But anyway, that's not the point. The point is, I'm going to file this chain, as I did, once. This has been used, and I filed it one time. And I'm going to... Oh, that's nice. That's nice. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use this against 
box stock. Same chain. I have a roll of it. Same exact chain. We're going to put this against the test time cuts. MS 400. Gosh. This guy needs to clean his chainsaws. What's going on with him? <laughs>